A high-speed chase last night marks the second one to take Highway 169 and fly through the city of Nowata in just the past month. The chase started in Tulsa and ended in Nowata. Police arrested 25-year-old Cody Matthews of Glenpool after the 45-minute chase because he was driving a stolen truck. Police say he initially resisted arrest and pulled a knife on an officer. He was taken into custody after a Nowata police officer used a taser on him. Now city officials are working to make sure they keep their officers and residents safe from fleeing criminals. Two Works For You reporter Darcy Jackson is live in Nowata with the latest on how this small town is battling this big time crime. Darcy. Yeah, Libby, with every chase that rolls through town comes the risk of danger for everyone who calls this town home. That's prompted officials to call on some state of the art technology, all in hopes of making sure those illegal drivers don't make it out of Nowata. It's only been three weeks since an Uluga officer was shot during a high-speed chase near Nawada, causing police to spring into action quickly last night. To hear another one was coming and all those agencies were involved, I thought, here we go again. It's becoming a familiar scenario for this department, something Chief Mike McElhaney wants to address before it gets worse. People don't want to go to jail and unfortunately they'll risk anything to keep from getting caught. This is amazing how these things work. So the department is working with the city to purchase new spike strips designed to stop criminals in their tracks more efficiently than ever before. We found the dyno strip, which is deployed by remote control from 100 feet away and it's air powered. Now officers will be able to quickly employ and retract the spikes all from a safe distance, keeping the city and the ones that protect it out of harm's way. If we can stop a pursuit here in town before it continues further and, and kill somebody or injure somebody, then it's well worth it. Now, police say that the strips cost about $1,700. One set has been purchased and is on the way, but the department hopes that someday they will be able to equip the entire department with them in the future. In the water, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.